the Sundays are numbered at 52 Catholic parishes around Cleveland. The diocese will close 29 of its 224 parishes. The reason we're up to that number 52 is because others will have to merge together. Now, churches in the area have been losing followers, also losing priests. Right now, nearly half of these parishes are operating in the red. It's our testimony to ourselves and to the public that we have a God who never forecloses on anybody. A God that never forecloses on anybody. Well, now time for you to mix some politics here in with a little religion. A passionate conversation uh, on the issues. This one, no different. It's about a Lutheran minister and many other religious leaders taking on Capitol Hill. For our Faces of Faith this morning, we're talking to the Reverend Lucy Colon. Good morning to you, Reverend Lucy Colon. We appreciate you being here. You are watching all this foreclosure mess. Apparently, you don't feel like enough is being done by uh, maybe some of the politicians out there, the policymakers, so you have decided to do something yourself. What are you doing? Well, uh, most recently, I was part of the Recovery Express, which was a, a bus a load of 50 leaders, faith leaders from uh, California and all across the country that traveled through eight of the hardest hit cities, uh, cities hardest hit by foreclosure, to bring a message of hope and challenge. Hope uh, to people who have already gone through foreclosure or who are facing it very soon and uh, a word of challenge and uh, encouragement to the Senate in particular to uh, take on bankruptcy reform and pass it. So this so is a way really, a you were trying to draw attention to the issue and also lend some support, but I guess as far as uh, uh, getting some kind of a tangible result, are you hoping to do that as well? Sound like you are going after some of these policymakers. Uh, yes, uh, we're leaders from an organization called PICO, People Improving uh, communities through organizing. Uh, we uh, represent one million families across the country and uh, foreclosure is an issue that's uh, um, very uh, at crisis proportions in many of our, our cities and neighborhoods. You say crisis so, proportion uh, there. We all always throw mm -hmm. out, unfortunately, sometimes you just hear these numbers. You went out there and you're, you're looking at these faces and seeing some of these stories, but oftentimes uh, some of those, those personal stories get lost in those numbers. Do you think mm -hmm. Um, that not enough is being done and sometimes unfortunately it's too much that we lump people together as a st statistic of the foreclosure crisis? Um, I think the stories need to be told and no there's not enough yet being done. We're really grateful for the first big step that President Obama took uh, in, in announcing the Haas program um, but those, uh, those programs uh, which banks uh, can used to perform loan modifications are, uh, don't have any sticks with them. It's voluntary uh, that banks uh, use those yeah. guidelines. So uh, we want to see bankruptcy reform. If a bank won't work with a, with a person working in good faith, then they would have the opportunity to go into court and see if the judge can uh, make that loan modification for them. Okay. Um, well, but oh, go ahead. Finish your point, please. Well, we, we just want to be sure, too, that um, the whole population that's affected by foreclosure is uh, addressed. We, we have a particular interest in seeing that, that uh, communities of color and uh, low and moderate income uh, folks uh, make sure that they're protected since they were the, the folks most affected by predatory lending. Well, Reverend Lucy Colon, certainly a, a good cause there to take up. We appreciate you bringing the attention. Appreciate what you're doing as also uh, going across the country and again, telling more of those stories instead of uh, us just lumping sometimes these numbers into statistics. Uh, there's a, a story and a family and a face behind all of those numbers. Reverend Colon, thank you so much for being here this morning and uh, good luck as you continue your work. Thank you very much. All right, Susie.